Okay. How was my trip to Sturgis? Just kidding. I didn't go that overboard. I did my trip to Sturgis. It was amazing. It was one of those things, it's like a bucket list item. And I wish I had more footage to show the rides. I've got just a little bit on the way to meet the guys that we did the documentary with. The documentary footage is theirs, so they're going to utilize it and put it in there. Then they'll give me, you know, any of the extras and I'll throw it on a video for you. But I just wanted to show some of my observations with Sturgis, um, what I thought about it. First thing first, everything you grow up seeing on the media about Sturgis, it's there. Trust me. The parties, the um, lack of clothing, for lack of a better term. The alcohol, a lot of it. <laughs> but for the most part, everybody was safe. It was one big party, but it was a, a really cool laid back party. Uh, for those of you that ride, you understand that riding is kind of like therapy. People call it wind therapy sometimes. You get on that ride, you get the wind in your face, you're out in the open, you're in nature, and, and it's like you're riding a steel horse. Sorry, Bon Jovi. But, it really is. It, it, you're out there where the Old West was. Deadwood is around there. I got to go to Deadwood. That was cool. Uh, didn't get to go to the place where Wild Bill Hickok was shot because I was more in awe of where I was. That's the part of Sturgis, and that's my first observation, that you don't kind of get from what you see on TV. On TV, you see big wild parties, naked people. <sighs> Flashbacks. Lots of bikes and just, just crowded pack. What they don't show you is how amazing the riding is around there, how beautiful the country is. We rode the Needles Highway. Just these twisty roads with big rock needle formation. I'm assuming that's why they called it the Needles Highway. But then there's two or three places where you, you ride through a cave that's been turned into a tunnel for motorcycles and cars. It's, it's, in, it's, it's all inspiring. And I'm not just saying that to sound like it's bigger deal than it is. It really was. You know, if the speed limit was 40, I was slowing down to 30, not because of the curves, just because I was constantly. One of the most amazing things I got to do is as a kid, one of my favorite movies was Close Encounter of the Third Kind. Close Encounter? No, Close Encounters. Close Encounters of the Third Kind with Richard Dreyfuss and Devil's Tower out in Wyoming. Well, Sturgis is only like an hour and 45 minutes, hour 40 minutes to the Devil's Tower. So we rode out there and this is kind of the view. My GoPro mount broke, so I had to have somebody that was riding in front of me with the camera film it as we rode in. But here's a picture of me there and then here's some of that footage. <laughs> beautiful riding ever. So I got a theory. The reason in the media you see all the parties, and I may get in trouble for saying this, I don't know, but the reason you see all the party stuff and the craziness of Sturgis in the media the way it is and the, you know, county fair flea market t-shirts. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Not this one. This one's cool. It's kind of a retro look I got from Hot Leathers. But the reason you see all that is maybe they're trying to keep people from really flooding the place. I would want to share it. I want more and more people to get into riding because it's good for the economy of the motorcycle industry, which is the industry I'm in now. And it's good for riders. And the more people you get into riding, 
the more people that are riding, the more people that understand riding, and when they're in their car, they get it more. So it's safer for all of us riders out there. Second observation, be prepared for the weather. Changes a lot. I bought this thing on Amazon. It's called a Chillitz. It was like one of the least expensive ones. You just soak it in cold water, throw it under your vest, your leather jacket, whatever, and it evaporates and it keeps you cool. So on the hot days, those are really, really good. It really did feel like you had an air conditioner just right here. Everything else was really hot. You can see I got a little bit of a tan line going. There's your sleeveless, Steph. Jesus. <laughs> During the ride on Needles Highway, we went through one hailstorm. Uh, it started off as rain, then little chunks of ice. And then as we were leaving Mount Rushmore and we came back around the backside to, I think it was Keystone, there was a big warning for another big storm coming through. So me and one of the other guys hauled butt back to our campgrounds, which we stayed at Full Throttle Saloon, which is really cool. Uh, giant 600 acres campground where a lot of people go and stay. Um, and as we were going through there, another hailstorm started and we're flying down the road legally within the speed limit. But then I feel this thunk on my helmet and then I felt another thunk. And this is one where I wish my GoPro was working. Um, my helmet at some point while we were there fell off my bike and I guess somebody picked it up. I didn't see it happen. Picked it up and just put it back where it was on handlebars. In Sturgis, everybody's really cool, really laid back, and they're not going to steal your stuff, so you can leave your helmet on your handlebars. It's not a big deal. But apparently where it landed was the GoPro mount. And so I went to put my GoPro on, and the mount didn't work. So that footage isn't there. But the, this hailstorm was more like shards of glass. It wasn't little rock balls like most hail you see. It was like, it was really weird. And they hurt especially at a high rate of speed. So the weather, it changed, it was all over the place. It was really, really hot one day. At night it would cool down to about low 60s sometimes. Some nights it was like 80s, but then we had hail storms, we had rain. We had a gorgeous lightning storm. That was incredible to watch. Just out in the big sky, plains, uh, near the Black Hills is just amazing to watch. It's the most beautiful country I've ever seen. Third observation, people are amazing in this motorcycle community. They're the kindest, nicest people you'd ever meet. I'm not going to mention any clubs, motorcycle clubs by name, but there were several motorcycle club members there uh, from different clubs. Everybody was friendly. Everybody was laid back. They were just good, good people. I don't know much about the club world, but from the people I met, they're really genuinely good people. I'm not a club guy, but they were cool with that. They're like, hey, if you don't want to be in a club, you don't want to be in a club. But that being said, they're just amazing, amazing people. It's like, 500,000 people going to group therapy all day and then coming back to the campsites or wherever and partying. So my other observation is how laid back and cool everybody was. Really, really good people. Last observation I have, I did work uh, for the company I work for, Law Tigers, the following week. And really receptive people. Uh, no, even the people who didn't want to talk to you or didn't want the swag that you were handing out, we give these little wallets out, uh, stickers, all kinds of stuff. They weren't mean, they weren't rude. They were just like, no, no, I've got one. Or there was people that said they had a bunch for every vehicle, that was kind of cool. People get that you're working, you're doing a job and they're really receptive to what you had to do. I was shocked how many vendors there actually was. It was like an outdoor convention. That was, I got companies like ours were gonna be there. I got that probably motorcycle seat companies, handlebars, stuff like that. But I didn't realize how many were there. Uh, Lazelle Street was just lined with vendors. Um, Main Street had vendors all up and down it. Uh, the Harley dealership was constantly packed while we were there. I can't imagine the revenue of t-shirts out of that Harley dealer in Sturgis. It's unbelievable. One downfall of Sturgis is the food downtown. Like while I was working, when I'd take a lunch break, was ridiculous. I got a hamburger and fries and it was 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, no. And the burger was good, don't get me wrong. But 20 bucks? Really? I, I wish I had more footage to show you. Just little clips like this. Um, this You can see them on my Instagram for Law Tigers. Go to Law Tigers TN, like Tennessee, Law Tigers TN. Or go to my Instagram, which is Zeke underscore Stout 
on Instagram and Facebook is the same as well. You can see some of the different little Instagram videos I posted on there. There's no sense in posting them here. But I just wanted to tell you that if you ever have the chance to go to Sturgis during the rally, or just go to Sturgis when it's a nice time of the year weather-wise, it's worth every penny you'll spend. I cannot wait till this documentary comes out and you get to see it because it's, it's just, yeah, I don't have words. So this video is kind of going to suck because I can't really show you anything but pictures and then, you know, a couple of little weird clips. Sturgis, go. Go do the Black Hills rides, Needles Highway. Needles Highway, I even got the poster now. I had to get the poster. Uh, it's, it's amazing, Twisty Turny, like I said. Go do uh, Spearfish Canyon uh, with the waterfall. That was amazingly beautiful. Um, there was a couple other rides I didn't get to do Iron Mountain. They say it's just there's a couple spirals that go all the way up. I didn't get to do that. But the caves you ride through, go out to Wyoming, go to the Devil's Tower, enjoy being around all these people. These people were just the salt of the earth, kind, amazing, nice people. The entire time I was there, and here's back to the media putting things out about stuff. You see biker culture and you see big burly guys on big Harleys that are loud and they're annoying, like in the South Park episode, which is not true. We don't ride around going bum, 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 bum. You think of this like violent, rowdy, crazy lifestyle. I was there for a week and a half. I did not see one single fight. And that was impressive to me. Everybody there, it was like a brotherhood. We all were enjoying it, getting our wind therapy, understanding what it's like to be riders. Oh, that was another thing. Understanding what it's like to be riders. There, it's the opposite of what it is here. Here, you're riding around your car, you're like, do, 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 do. Ah, it's a motorcycle. 30 minutes later, Ah, there's another motorcycle. And it's rare. You don't see a whole lot of them. But you go to Sturgis and it's the reverse. It's so funny and so cool. You're riding your bike along and you're like, yeah, there's a four-wheel car. 30 minutes later. Still no car. No, oh, there's a truck. It was just so amazing to be in this city of motorcycles. It was unbelievable. So as soon as that documentary is released, I'll let y'all know, I may or may not be able to post it on here depending on how they distribute it, but it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be really cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I wish I had more to show, but just stay safe out there, ride safe, and have a good time. See you guys.